I'm going to show you how to transfer files such as your photos and videos directly from your Samsung Galaxy S22, S22 Plus, or the S22 Ultra directly to your Apple computer, MacBook, or iMac using the charging cable and without using iTunes. Using the charging cable, okay? So the first thing to note is with the uh, Galaxy S22s, the charging cable that you get is a USB-C to a USB-C, all right? The thing is, on my MacBook here, I don't have a USB-C or Thunderbolt port. So my other option regarding using a cable is I can use a USB-A to USB-C, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and plug the USB-A into my USB port into my, my, back, my MacBook here. Now, the next thing that we have to do or you guys have to do is you have to download this Android file transfer okay it's a free download you can see I have mine down here it's a little green robot I had downloaded that like five years ago so every time I plug in my um, Samsung phones now it's basically like a Windows computer I can just drag and drop anyway I'll put this link below Android file transfer it's a free download download it install it and then you'll see like a little green robot down here all right so once you have that now all we've got to do is Go ahead and plug in our S22, just like that. And then let me go ahead and sign in. And as soon as I sign in, I get a message down here, allow access to phone data. I'm gonna tap on allow right there. And then this window here pops up. I'm just gonna go ahead and just click on okay up here. It's gonna close it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and reopen that window. I'm just gonna go ahead down here, which says Android file transfer, the little green robot guy. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that right there. And now you can see all of the folders that I have on my Galaxy S22. So for the photos and videos that you've taken on that phone, you wanna to go to the DCIM folder, which is right here, DCIM. Double click on that, double click on camera, and then you can see I have uh, just some, not that many photos, JPEGs, and I got an MP4 as one video. So from here, now it's basically like a Windows uh, computer. I mean, let's say this JPEG here, I wanna save this onto my MacBook. I can, I mean, I can drag and drop it right to the desktop. Drop it right there, just like a Windows computer. Or what I typically do is I'll just create a new folder here on the desktop new folder and I'll just name it that and then I'll select whichever ones that I want to put in that folder I'm just going to go ahead and highlight the whole shebang there all the way highlight all of it I'm going to drag and drop into that new folder I just created right there let it go and now it's transferring right there okay we're done let me go ahead and unplug my phone now and now we have that folder here let me open that up and these are the photos and videos that I just transferred. And I can, let me double click on this MP4 so you can see the video file that opens up. Testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Anyway, you guys got the message. Questions or issues, just uh, comment below, all right? Good luck, guys.